To help with your understanding of row echelon form and reduced row echelon form, I wanted to look at three more example matrices and determine whether they're in either of those forms or neither. So starting with the uh, example A here, for row echelon form or reduced echelon form, the main thing we're looking for is that the pivots, which a pivot is just the first non-zero entry in each row. So the pivot, here's the pivot for row one, here's the pivot for row two, here's the pivot for row three. If it's in row echelon form, the key thing is that those pivots fall diagonally down from the top left to the bottom right. And so you've got this nice diagonal of ones here, but what uh, messes things up in matrix A is this um, non-zero entry right here in the first column. So the, the pivots, the first non-zero entries in each row must move down and to the right. Now you don't necessarily have to go down exactly one and over exactly one, but they must move down and to the right in general. And so this first matrix is not in row echelon form and definitely not reduced row echelon form. So I'm gonna label uh, example A here, neither. Oops, my neither's keep coming out weird. Uh, example B, so we're looking for the pivots to move down and to the right. And then here again, the pivot for row three is this three down here. So that is down and to the right of the pivot in the row above. So since each time moving from the pivot in row one, down and to the right to get to the pivot in row two, down and to the right to get the pivot in row three, and it's all zeros below those, those um, pivot entries, then uh, this thing is in row echelon form. So then we can move on and, okay, is it in reduced row echelon form? So the key difference between reduced row echelon form versus just row echelon form is in reduced echelon form, the pivot should be the only non-zero entry in that column. And so it, this that's great with the one here. That's the only non-zero entry in that column. Here's the pivot for row two, and yes, it's the only non-zero entry in that column, but the pivot in row three is the three here. Oops. And that's, that's not the only uh, non-zero term in that column. So example B here is in row echelon form, but not reduced row echelon form. Abbreviate here. Okay, for B. Um, maybe sure I labeled it. Now for example C. Uh, so again, the let's check the pivots. So here's the pivot in row one. Move down and to the right. There's the pivot in row two. Down and well, actually, so the the row three is all zeros, so that doesn't really count for for anything. There is no pivot in row three. So the only two uh, pivots in this matrix do move down and to the right. So it's in the row echelon form. And further, yeah, it's in the uh, reduced row echelon form because each of these pivots are the only non-zero entry in that column. The pivot here, everything else in that column is zero. So this third example is in reduced row echelon form or RREF. This says form. Sorry about that.